guys, I'm here at Urban Workshop in Irvine and uh, it's a very, very neat space. I want to show you around. I'm going to ask uh, Steven, the owner, some questions and really going to show you what the possibilities are with a space like this. So. Basically, we're just trying to enable all the members to do sure. what they want to do. So all the equipment's here, and we teach classes on how to use equipment, and some don't know how to use it, sure. how to use it. Uh, and then myself, my general manager, we're both mechanical engineers, so okay. I end up doing a lot of design review stuff sure. with people. Um, but yeah, that's the gist of it. You know, people okay. just come, whatever they want to make, come and go as they please, sure. and do their thing. So, awesome. Um, but ours is a little different. If, you, if you've been to some of the others before, I have a little maker space. Yeah. There's, there's lots of space around. Most of them are single specialty, so sure. you get a lot of guys who are just 3D printers, just electronics, just right. lasers, things like that. And they do fine, and people enjoy that. But to me, we've got a little bit of everything. Sure. Right? So that, to me, I smell some wood cutting somewhere? Yeah, that, you hear the CNC router running right yeah. in the background. Okay. So, so yeah, we have a full wood shop, metal okay. shop, and you'll see it all. Sure. Um, so you got the, the small business type, and then you got just the hobbyists who are doing home projects, for sure, or cars, or whatever. Um, and then you get the more creative ones, like we got like Burning Man crowd. Now what is this here? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's a, a training station for the Haas CNC mill. So we can use that to teach people how to control the interface. So oh, if you okay. do the, if you, if you design a part here to generate the G-code, you can plug it in there and verify your code first that it doesn't crash. Got it, it goes like to a simulation machine. sort of bingo. All right. So you can learn how to do it here and sure. verify your code here. All right. So file cut there, um, 3D printer here. Um, I usually use this oh, one cool. as my example for um, the equipment we have in here is much higher level than typical maker spaces. Most maker spaces are hobby level, entry level sure. stuff. Kind of like um, just prototypes. Yeah, yeah, but the, the priority to entry of this whole thing is the cost of the equipment, right? Sure. So for the last 12 years, this has actually been my engineering to make factory company. So everything we have is you know, production quality, short sure. state of the art equipment. So most places are going to have like uh, maker bots or like Google. Printers. Sure, like you can buy it like Microsoft store. Yeah, they're like the two thousand dollars. So this is a forty thousand dollar three D printer. Sure. So as we go around the shop, you'll see the difference. Everything we have is is more to this caliber of equipment. Um, these guys, are, these guys are actually doing a class right now on the laser etcher. Have you ever seen one of these? Uh, no, not in not in person. Okay. Well, they're, they're just setting up to do some on the rotary attachment here. Um, some of the pieces they just finished. Like, like, oh, okay. They just etched the leather on the glass. This is actually a, a book cover. Oh, that's cool. That's uh, pretty use, neat. Use a, like a thread sure. kind of to secure it so you can actually use it as a cover. Oh, very nice. Yeah, yeah so it's sort of a... Some guys that's call very it sort of creative. Hinge, so you, can, you can clean all this off. Sure. That, that'll come right off. Um, or finish it. Where, yeah, yeah. Yep. They just made this in the class. That's awesome. Yeah.